Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool shooter game with the particles and all the cool effects. Let's start by naming the project to shooting game. Let's delete our cat sprite and make a new sprite, call it player. And then in our costume editor, let's grab our square tool and I want to go with a slightly red color and I want to hold shift and make it a perfect size and then I'm going to change the outline and if you bring out your node operator and do two nodes right by, by the corner node and delete the corner node it makes a nice round corner which is excellent for looks So now I'm going to add a little face on him, do the two eyes, I want to change my paint size to lower number for the mouth, and in the code, I want to put, bring out a when flag, green flag clicked forever loop, if, I want to bring out if up arrow, then if down arrow, then if right arrow, if left arrow. And up arrow, let's change Y by one, down arrow, negative one, and let's change X by one and negative one, what's right and left arrow. And now we have a moving player. I might actually change all of them to two, just so it's a little bit faster and fit the game feel. That looks really good now. Okay, let's make a new sprite and let's call it gun. And now I want to make a square. Have an outline, lower outline, and I want to do whatever I can to make it look nice. After you get it looking nice, copy and paste it, and let's rotate it, hold shift again to make a nice snappy uh, rotation. Move it to the back, I'm going to change the strip outline size to a little lower, resize it just a bit, and add a gun hammer, and the handle thing. I'm going to change the barrel size a little bit longer, and... Yeah, let's select it all and move it to the center. In the code, let's bring out a when green flag clicked forever loop, go to player, point towards mouse pointer. And now we have the gun pointing and going to the player. But it needs to look better than that. So let's move, bring out a move steps and let's have it move about, let's see, like 30, five steps and I'll give it a little distance between the player. Let's bring it to front layer when green flag clicked. I'm actually going to change it to move 32 steps. And that actually looks pretty good. Let's make a new uh, sprite, call it projectile. And this is our bullet. And let's set fill to whatever works and outline hold shift again to make a perfect circle and I'm gonna resize it a little bit to match my gun yeah I want to actually grab my gun copy and paste my gun into the projectile costume and just make sure it fit like it seems a reasonable size for the gun. Let's go ahead and go into the player script and let's add an if mouse down, make a new message, call it shoot in projectile. When I receive shoot, go to gun, point towards mouse pointer. Yeah, it's looking pretty good now. Let's repeat 10 times and move 10 steps. And then let's actually go into the sensing and find the Let's get a direction of gun 
and point in direction of gun. So that takes the direction from our gun and will point in that direction. That way it's very accurate. To make it look better though, let's turn 90 degrees left, move three steps, and then turn 90 degrees right. Let's see, actually, let's actually make that six steps, and that makes it look a lot better. So we go to gun, point in direction, and then we turn, move, turn, and then we repeat 10 times and move 10 steps. But we want to have multiple projectiles. We don't have to make clones. So let's start by having when we green flag click, let's hide the projectile, the main sprite. And then when I start to clone, let's have it everything and when I receive shoot in there and let's create a clone of myself. And right now we're not seeing anything, but we need to show the clone so that way actually being shown but now we're making as you can see a ton of clones every time we click so we'll, let's fix that so in this player sprite um we need to make a new variable call it reload for the sprite only set reload to two at the beginning of the script when green pine clicked and change reload by negative one in the forever loop and pull out an and operator so mouse down and reload is less than zero and let's set reload to 20 before we shoot and now as you see we're not it's allowing us to not have multiple tons of clones being created at the same time but because of um, scratches clone limit it's only allowing us to put a certain amount of clones on the screen. But, it might be like, there's no way 10 projectiles would be over the limit. But, the problem is, is that when I receive shoot, all the clones are running that. And they're all creating clones of them. So, and that's making tons of clones. Let's say there's 5 clones. Each one of those will make a clone of themselves, plus the original sprite. That would be an extra five clones being created. So to solve this, let's create a new variable, call it clone with a question mark, and set clone to zero when when green flag clicked, and set clone when I start as a clone, and in the when I receive shoot, if clone equals zero, then create a clone of myself. And that fixed it. Now we can have multiple shots and it just keeps on going. But let's make it, let's delete a clone. So wait 0 0.01 seconds and then delete this clone when I start as a clone at the very end. And that way we're not having a bunch of ones hanging around. And wait zero seconds actually does pretty much the same thing. You might be like, that's zero seconds. But that actually waits like a frame and is more than enough though. And if you'd like to be one of the first ones to see my the next episode, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.